Hi there. Today we're going to find out how to create a SCORM course in three steps. Step 1 is to make the course in PowerPoint. Step 2 is to publish it to SCORM. And step 3 is to upload it to an LMS of your choice. Let's take a look at iSpring Suite, e-learning authoring toolkit for PowerPoint. It lets you enhance your presentations with extra e-learning content and convert them into online courses. Here you can see a completed course. What I'm going to do is reverse engineer it to show you exactly how it's done. Let's start with the title slide. As you can see, the standard template slide is a bit different than our final product, so I'll show you how to fine-tune it. First, let's drag away this overlay and replace the background. Just delete the current picture, then click the icon in the middle and browse for file. Now right click it and send it to the back and now drag the overlay back on top. Obviously you're going to want to replace this text with the real title and description and then add the start button. The last thing we need to do on this slide is to make the start button a hyperlink and I want you to remember this procedure because you're going to use it all throughout this course to make all the buttons interactive. Just go to the Insert tab, click Action, and choose the Hyperlink option. For this button, we're going to link it to the next slide, but this menu has a bunch of nifty options, depending on what type of button you want to add. Okay, now you know how to create this title slide, so let's delete the template and move on. Now I'm going to show you how to insert this character in Speech Bubble on slide 3. First, we'll go up to the Character Library. And now we can pick from a huge collection of character photos. I happen to know that this character's name is Roman, so I'll just type it in at the top. And we also want him looking straight at the camera and smiling. Okay, this one looks good. Now we only need the top half, so I'm going to right click and crop off his legs to the waist. Alright, now let's resize him so he fits the slide. Looks good. Now it's time for the speech bubble. Over here on the Insert tab, we'll go to Shapes and find this callout right here. From the Format section, we'll get rid of the outline and make it a white fill color and then go to the Text Options and make the text dark. Now we can type in whatever we want and drag this little point over so it's pointing at his mouth. Obviously, this doesn't quite look as polished as the final product, but you've got the idea, so let's delete the rough draft. Now, finally, I'm going to quickly show you how to add extra items like quizzes and simulations to your course. Just insert a blank slide. I'm just going to show you the quiz process as an example because you'll actually see the same quick start window for all of these. If you want to find out how to make this stuff, there's plenty of tutorials available on our channel. All I'm going to do right now is browse for my pre-made quiz and open it up. Then click Save and Return to Course. It's as simple as that. Now at last, we're ready to publish to SCORM by clicking the Publish button on the toolbar. I'll just select LMS, check my title and output folder, then select SCORM 1.2 or 2004. The SCORM version depends on the LMS you use and your requirements. I'll select SCORM 1.2 for now to give you an understanding of the process. The settings are pretty similar for both versions. And then go ahead and publish. Depending on the size and contents of your course, it may take a little while to publish, but it's usually pretty quick. Now I can open the file to see my SCORM package. Usually what I do now is hold the shift key on my keyboard, then right click and select copy as path. Then, when I would go to upload to an LMS, I can just paste the path directly to the file. Finally, you're ready to upload to an LMS of your choice. Here I'm on the iSpring website, where we have a list of LMSs that are officially supported by iSpring. You can find a link to this page in the description below. Just find your LMS by typing the name in this box, or browse the alphabetical listing. You can see compatibility ratings, partner and verified categories, and complete descriptions for each LMS. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to create a SCORM course in three steps.